We live in a time when progressive technological developments allow us to look deeper and deeper into space. In addition to curiosity and a thirst for knowledge, terrestrial researchers are driven by another question. What if our Earth becomes uninhabitable? Would there be an alternate planet nearby that could ensure humanity's survival? Since the hopes within our solar system are slim and getting slimmer, the gaze leads to the nearest star system, Alpha Centauri, and there in particular, the planet Proxima b, which is considered a new super-Earth. Proxima Centauri b Proxima b is a planet in the triple star system Alpha Centauri. Cosmically, the solar system is our closest neighbor. The existence of the planet Proxima Centauri b, or just Proxima b for short, was first detected in August 2016 using the radial velocity method. According to the current state of science, Proxima b is the closest to Earth and probably an Earth-like exoplanet. Proxima b orbits its star Proxima Centauri at a distance of about 4.37 light-years from Earth. At a distance of less than 2 million miles, the planet's orbit passes very close to its star. That Proxima b could be a habitable planet, despite its proximity to its star, is simply because the star has only about 10% of the luminosity of our Sun. For liquid water to form oceans and thus the basis for life, it must be neither too hot nor too cold. Proxima b gets a total of about 60% of the light radiation from its star that we get from our Sun. Considering these first basic requirements for a habitable planet, they are absolutely fulfilled by Proxima b. That means organic life would be theoretically possible there. However, a few more conditions must be met for a planet to be habitable. But before we take a closer look at them, we'll introduce you to the Alpha Centauri star system in this video. Our nearest neighbors? Only 4.37 light years away, the Centauri system is closer to our Sun than any other star. The Centauri system is even moving towards us within the Milky Way. In 27,000 years, the distance will be only 3 million light years. The Centauri system consists of three stars the double star pair Alpha Centauri A and B, as well as Alpha Centauri C, which is also called Proxima Centauri because of its special features. Alpha Centauri A and B are estimated to be about 5 billion years old and thus about the age of our Sun. Centauri A is slightly larger and more massive than our Sun. The star shines rather yellowish and about 1.5 times brighter than our white shining Sun. Alpha Centauri B has an orange hue and is only half as bright as our Sun. The third star in the group, Centauri C, or Proxima Centauri, is a red dwarf. Compared to our Sun, this faint star is tiny. Proxima Centauri has only about 12% of the solar mass, and with about 37 degrees Fahrenheit, also a comparatively cool surface temperature. Because of the similarities to our Sun, NASA first explored the two brightly shining stars A and B. Only then did the telescopes turn their attention to the very faint red dwarf, Proxima Centauri, and the researchers made an astonishing discovery. It very quickly became apparent that the mini-Sun quite unlike its two large companions, must be orbited by at least one exoplanet. Stars that have planets in their orbit rotate in a typical way. The gravitational pull of the planets levers them slightly out of their fixed point, so to speak. Thanks to the radial velocity method, we can precisely analyze the light spectrum of a star from Earth. If a star moves together with a planet around a common center of mass, the motion patterns leave traces in the starlight. After the analysis, it was clear in 2016, Proxima Centauri has at least one exoplanet. This also made it clear that these planets must be our nearest neighbors outside our solar system. To the further astonishment of researchers on Earth, further calculations soon revealed that this planet, which was named Proxima b, could be very similar to our Earth. But that was far from the end of the discoveries in the Proxima Centauri solar system. New planets discovered around the star closest to the Sun. Meanwhile, researchers have found more exoplanets orbiting the red dwarf Proxima Centauri. In 2019, 
researchers from the Star Observatory in Turin, Italy, found the exoplanet Proxima C. It has about seven Earth masses, but it's not particularly dense. Proxima C could be similar to our Neptune and, as a gas planet, would be absolutely uninhabitable for organic life forms. Nevertheless, Proxima C also fascinates science. Because the planet of the system farthest away from its star has presumably rings similar to Saturn, only that these are four times larger and consist of rubble and rock. The third discovered exoplanet Proxima d could be an extremely massive planet. As a presumed rocky planet, it could resemble our Mars, except that Proxima d is at least twice the size of Mars. Proxima d orbits its star in just five days and a distance of less than three million miles. Although the red dwarf is only faintly luminous, Proxima d would likely be too close to its star to make organic life possible. So despite these discoveries, Earthlings' hopes are still focused on Proxima b. Is Proxima b habitable? We now come back to the all-deciding question whether Proxima b would be habitable, or whether this planet is possibly already inhabited. So far, the planet's location in the habitable zone of its star gave reason for hope. But the star Proxima Centauri has another feature besides its low luminosity, which could make life on the planet difficult. Proxima Centauri is a so-called flare star. Practically, this means that the star increases exponentially in brightness about every 400 days and then becomes darker again. Experts call these light phenomena flares and they are accompanied by extreme X-ray radiation, which the star throws into its environment during these phases. Presumably, the relatively close-orbiting exoplanet Proxima b also gets a good portion of radiation every 400 days. Some experts even suspect that Proxima b might have no or only a very weak atmosphere due to the radiation bombardment. A planet without an atmosphere cannot form stable climatic conditions. Water would evaporate and the radiation would hit the surface of the planet unhindered with full force. But not only this could be a problem for humans or other living beings who wanted to survive on Proxima b, the planet has another special feature. Similar to the Earth's moon, it seems to orbit around its sun in a bound orbit. This means that Proxima b always faces the same side of its sun, while the other side is turned away in the darkness. If this assumption is confirmed, it would have to be negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit cold on average on the dark side, while temperatures of about 86 degrees Fahrenheit would be reached on the warm side facing the sun. Practically, this also means that it's never night on the bright side and never day on the dark side. Whether these light conditions allow biological life, terrestrial researchers can currently neither exclude nor confirm. For humans, it would be unusual to live in a permanently bright or dark environment. Nevertheless, terrestrial life forms and effects such as the polar night and polar day also prove that living things can adapt to conditions such as these. In shallow waters of the Caribbean, there are coral polyps that can neutralize the harmful effects of ultraviolet light via the formation of luminescent pigments. Even in the darkest caves on Earth, humans have found life in the form of lichens or amphibians. In ice-cold waters, bacteria sometimes survive for millions of years. Around the North Polar Zone, people, animals, and plants live that can cope with freezing cold and half a year of darkness as well as continuous sun. What all these life forms have in common, however, is that they depend on water. So the next question remains, is there water on Proxima b? Here, terrestrial researchers can only make assumptions. We can't really see the planet from Earth at the moment, and even our best telescopes can't send us images of the surface from Proxima b. But it is possible, it's even conceivable that entire oceans exist on Proxima b. In the course of a planet's life, thousands if not millions of icy comets strike its surface. If the planet has an atmosphere, the water remains bound to the planet and accumulates. Experts suggest that a mass of up to 30 Earth oceans of water could have reached the planet within 2 million years from comet impacts from the Proxima Centauri system alone. Still, many other factors, such as the composition of the atmosphere, play a role in determining whether life exists or is possible on Proxima b at all. 
To determine these factors with certainty, we would have to travel there ourselves or send a probe. Can humans fly to Proxima b? Even if the distance to the Centauri system is a stone's throw from an astronomical point of view, overcoming the distance from manned space travel looks quite different. There are only 4.2 million light years between our solar system and Proxima Centauri. Nevertheless, a spaceship on the way with a speed of 17,000 miles per hour would need 163,000 years to reach the Alpha Centauri system. Even if humans could build a spaceship traveling at 37,000 miles per hour, it would still take just under 76,000 years. Researchers are currently working to develop an ultralight and ultra-fast probe. The Breakthrough Starshot initiative aims to send a space probe to the Proxima Centauri solar system in just 20 years via a light sail powered by laser beams. The launch of the probe is expected to be realized in the next 20 years. Other hopes are pinned on the new James Webb Space Telescope. It began its work this year and could serve in the future also for the better observation of exoplanets. In 2023, the Ptoleman Space Telescope will also be launched into orbit. Ptolemyn is the Arabic name for the Alpha Centauri star system. The telescope will be aimed specifically at the Alpha Centauri star system and is expected to provide information in less than five years about whether there are other exoplanets cavorting in the Centauri system. So we end this video with the exciting question of whether Proxima b is a second Earth will be answered in the near future. One thing's for sure, we at Simply Space will continue to keep you updated. Subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss any stellar news and tell us your own personal opinion on the existence of super-Earths at the end of the video. Do you think we will eventually be able to travel to other planets and possibly meet other civilizations there?